I brought us to this place. I thought there was like hiking, like actual like things to hike up. <laughs> and it's basically flat. So I have on like bright clothes. So we're able to be seen in the woods. And then I have on hiking boots. <laughs> It is kind of flat, so that's okay though. It's still fun. Um, here we're having a good time. That's what we were doing, but we went to a place we haven't been to in a long time, and I really thought for some reason that there was like hiking, like you know, go up a hill. So there's not, but that's okay. But it's still pretty, and it's peaceful. still super super fun so um they just basically i mean it was just flat basically which is fine and honestly that's no big deal but i totally thought that i was like i think there's trails at this one and there's not so maybe we can do it another day but either way we had fun and i think fairby enjoyed it so and there's a car coming we're in the parking lot obviously so anyways all right that was it let's show how to do a sensory trick one two let's go and then we're gonna walk. Yeah, okay, that was pretty good. So they're gonna go between your legs and they're gonna step on your feet. And then they're gonna walk like this. Good job. Good girl. So the other day we posted a video of Therapy doing the footsie trick and someone asked for a tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So before I actually show you physically, I wanna tell you some stuff. So the first thing you need to keep in mind is you have to keep the um, width of your dog, oh, sorry, the width of your dog's feet in mind for this. So for me, I have to stand with my feet more like this, like heels out, toes in kind of, which it's, for some reason it's easy for me to walk like that, but if it's not easy for you to walk like that, practice without your dog on your feet first. And I feel like for any dog, it's gonna be easier for them to learn like that, even if they can make their feet go wider, just because it's more natural for them to have their feet, you know, like where they normally would walk. So this is what I'm talking about. So I kind of stand like, this is how I normally stand. So I kind of stand like this a little bit. So my toes are pointed in and then that way it creates a space for her to stand. Another thing to keep in mind is your dog may not feel comfortable with you standing above them, so you might need to just start with them walking between your legs or even standing between your legs. And then after that, then what you wanna do is move on to them putting their feet on your feet and just stand there and get a treat for that. So step one is just to have them stand between your legs, which she's reaching for my feet because we've done this, but you would have them just actually stand between your feet, right? Yeah, she's like, let's go. <laughs> she's like, give me a ride, woman. All right, uh, here, have a cookie. So just have them stand between your feet, like on the ground. She's not gonna just do that because we always do this now. So have them just stand between your legs, like she is standing on my feet, but just stand them between your legs at first. And then after that, have them stand like this and you just stand there and just do that, tell them they're good, you know, that kind of stuff. And then gradually move one of your feet just like a little bit. So be like, you know, have them be like they're secure and you can maybe even hold them, depending how big they are, just so they feel secure. And just see what they're gonna do if you just move. And as long as everything goes okay, then, you know, keep going. Um, at this point, you might wanna add a cookie. So it's like keeping their mind off of it and just kind of gradually go. But you can go backwards, you can go frontwards, you can go all kinds of ways. Let's go. All right, so put the feet on. Yeah, and then we're gonna walk. Yeah, okay, that was pretty good. It's one of those things that it gets better with time and Fairby won't just like stand between my legs now. She has to stand on my feet between my legs, which I don't really care, but um, it's hard for a demonstration. 
I can't really demo it to say like, just stand them between your legs because she doesn't just do that. Now she just puts her feet on my feet. And you can see now I can have my feet more straight where at first I need to have my toes pointed in. Yeah. I don't know how long it took us to do that really. I can't remember. I want to say it was a relatively quick trick to learn, but also, you know, she'd learned a lot of other tricks before that and she was already used to doing things like paws up and stuff like that so it was pretty easy but you just kind of want to be consistent and also anytime you're teaching your dog a new trick it doesn't matter if it's this or anything at all end with something they know so always end on, end on a positive note even if it's like something simple like sit so if they don't know a trick and you're teaching them something new end with a thing they know and make a really big deal like you know like it's a huge deal. Let me know if you have any additional questions or if there's anything I could be more thorough on. I'll be happy to answer anything I can in the comments below.